How's it going everybody, it's your boy Poe, and today I'm going to be showing you where you can find the Archelon Saddle Blueprint. So, let's get into it. Okay guys, so after doing a series of running all of the Artifact Cave at least 20 times to give you the best information when it comes to loot, routes, and tips and tricks to help you get the artifacts, we found out that there's only two Artifact Cave that's going to give you the Archelon Blueprint. And that's going to be the Brute and the Cunning. So as you can see over here, we got a couple saddles, like the blueprint itself, and they're pretty high. Now, in this cave, we didn't get already made ones, but in caves, whenever you get a blueprint, you can get already mates, and whenever you get already mates, you can get blueprints. So yeah, this is the brute. We got three. We didn't get already mates, but let's look at the cunning, which is hard underwater cave. Now, in this one, we did get blueprints, but they were not maxed, and we did get already made ones, which, again, were not maxed. So if you ask me, if you want a max saddle, preferably use the Brute. Like, look at this. Out of three, two of them were max, and one of them were close to it. So 99.2 is going to be max because it's considered a soaker. So yeah. And basically, we're going to be running this as simple as possible. And I'm sorry if you are not on this stage, but you can do it without the text suit. It's just you're going to need more stamina. What we're going to do is use a text suit because the chest the chest piece will help you basically swim faster. Now that we're going to add it, the flippers, which is going to make you basically swim extremely fast. And to make sure that no dino aggros at us, we're going to be using the cactus brass. Now this is an item from Scorch Earth. So you're going to need to get cactus sap and berries to be able to make it. And what this does is that it reduces the aggro radius around you. So we can swim in, grab the loot, grab the artifact, and swim out. So for that reason, I have everything ready. I'm going to go teleport close to the cunning artifact, and we're going to do hard on the water cave. So yeah, let's get over there. Okay, guys, so we are standing close to the entrance of the underwater place. So let's get ready before we jump. Now, we don't have like vacuum compartments, so we're going to start from the top, basically. So we're going to equip our flippers, and then we're going to drink our cactus. Now remember this is going to have around 600 seconds so make sure that it doesn't run out while you're down there. Let's drink it. There we go. And now to prevent this we're going to go with this following commands which are R volumetric flux zero and R volumetric space uh, volumetric cloud space zero. This is going to take away the clouds and the fog so we can see clearly underwater. And now whenever we activate our jetpack Look at how quickly we can swim. So yeah, this is going to be the cave. If you don't know where the hard on the water cave is located, these are going to be the coordinates, which are 45.5, 95.5. So let's get inside. I'm going to tell you all the loop locations here in this cave. But if you want to look for the brute ones, I'm going to have the link below so you can run. You can see the video that I did for the brute that we did a run. And I'll show you all the loop locations and how to get the artifact extremely quick. So let's keep swimming. As you can see, nothing is aggroing at us. I'm going to activate the visor just so you can see that nothing is like red. Not even those, uh, I forgot the name, those vampire fish, which once they grab you, you're basically dead. So let's see, we have, we're supposed to have one drop underneath that bridge. Supposed to have one drop right here as well. And go up because we're supposed to have one drop in the middle of those two pile of fish let's go behind here hopefully we get lucky and we actually can get it on this run we're supposed to get a drop right here next to this rock right here we still haven't gotten it now remember this cave will only have three drops at a time once you get all three drops that's it you either get that if i can get out or just get out oh we got one here on the edge this one was here. We got an Ichi. God damn it, that damn saddle. We're gonna fly over here instead of going to the other part, which is down there, that hole. We're gonna see. Oh, we got another one right here next to the pillar. Ah, uh, I curse at it and I get another one. That's two drops. We're missing one more. 
So we're going to head back over here because you have more locations over here. We have one right here on this edge, which there's nothing right here on the stone. And keep going back. After this little cave, you have about four more. Which, oh, and you also have a explorer note right about back here. Yep, let me grab it. So, you have one around here, if I'm not mistaken, around these rocks, and then this location right here. And that's the third drop. So, let's see. Oh, well, didn't get anything good. Now, just in case those are not there, you also have one back here, around these rocks, right here. And then one on this back right about here. And finally, the one that is by the artifact. So let me go swim over there. We still have a decent amount of stem and we have a lot of time on the cactus brush. So let me keep swimming. We're going to go to the artifact real quick. Now, don't be scared. As long as you don't touch most of the creatures or you get too close to them, you should be fine. But yeah, let's go around here, do around the corner, look for that pillar, and we're gonna go behind the pillar and down. Which is how, and then the last trap location is gonna be right in the middle of these, like, algaes, right? They're about here, where I'm standing. So after that, we're gonna go get the artifact, because you can never have too many artifacts. Let's see. All this shit around here. Let me go grab this. And now we can get out. Yep, yeah, simple as that. Now again, you can get it from the cunning, you can get it from the brute, but you will have to farm it a little bit because it's not that common. But yeah guys, there you have it. Those are the places where you can get the Archelon Saddle Blueprint. So, with everything shown and said, that's going to be everything for this video. Really hope you enjoy it, found it useful, and if you do, remember, leave a like, subscribe for more future videos, any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.